Okay, so hello again guys. Today what we're going to cover is DNS encryption. Just in case you're not aware, by default, any DNS requests your computer makes are sent unencrypted over the wire. So they're free for anyone to snoop in on, free for anyone to man in the middle attack you. Just to prove this point, in this Arch Linux VM I've got open here, I'm going to open two terminals. And on this one, I'm going to run TCP dump. I'm going to dump out any traffic on port 53. And on the, on the other terminal, I'm just going to make a DNS request. And as you can see, we were able to inspect the full packet and see what was inside the packet. And that's from your computer to your router or gateway, out onto the internet to your ISP. So any, anyone along the way can see your traffic. But obviously that's a bit of a privacy hole. It's a bit of a security issue as well. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to encrypt that traffic. Now, you can actually do this inside the browser. If you look in uh, Firefox, in a recent version of Firefox, in the privacy settings at the bottom, you've got DNS over HTTPS, where you can enable max protection and choose a uh, downstream resolver, which offers DNS over HTTPS. But uh, what about the rest of the browser? Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use systemd resolve D to uh, send all that tra or anything else from, from the operating system, we're gonna send out over port 853 and we're gonna encrypt it using TLS. Okay, so it's very easy to do. What we need to do first is to edit the systemd resolve D file. By the way, systemd resolve D is installed uh, as standard on any operating system, any Linux operating system that has systemd as the init system. Okay, so it should be in this location. So I'm gonna edit etsy systemd resolve D.com. Okay. Now, first things first is we need to choose some resolvers. I'm just going to use one of some of the examples which were provided, but if you want to use some different ones, you can go to a website like dnsprivacy.org and have a look at their public resolver section or their test server section to get some uh, addresses of different ones. I don't vouch for any of these. Do your own research. Okay, but for now, I'm just going to use one of the default examples. I'm going to choose Cloudflare. Now, when you copy the entry in, make sure you copy the IP address the hashtag, and make sure you get the full host name. We need the host name for the TLS authentication to work. So we're going to copy that into this DNS equals section. And then we're going to uncomment it. Next, we're going to come down to DNS over TLS, uncomment it, and we're going to enable that. And then we're going to disable multicast DNS. And that's all we need to do. And let's save that file and come out here. What we need to do now is to make a backup of our old etsy resolve.com, which is where uh, GNU Linux finds its uh, DNS servers. We'll just give it a new name, and then we're going to delete that entirely. Now we're going to create a symbolic link to the system D resolve D stub resolver. works okay that's looking good so now let's en enable it and let's test it out so i'm going to do the same thing i did at the start of the video i'm just going to run tcp dump to dump out all the traffic on port 53 and on the other terminal, it's going to look at DNS request. Once you uh, stop the scripts, of course. Well, there you go, guys. As you can see. We are getting the DNS results back, but absolutely no traffic is going out over port 53 because the traffic is now going out over port 853 and it's going to be encrypted. Okay. So uh, please note, however, just because you've encrypted your DNS requests, this doesn't mean that you're anonymous in, in the slightest way. There are still a myriad ways for bad actors and the alphabet boys to identify you. 
and your traffic, but it is a very good start. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.